Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming the roommate tag and I'm joined with my roommate of two years, Jess. So we've been living together for two years now in college. We're both sophomores, so I think we are the perfect duo to be filming this tag video. Oh. <laughs> or so we think we are. <laughs> so anyways, without further ado, here are some generic questions that I found online. <laughs> So I think this is the most popular one that we found online, but it looks like it has about roughly 20 questions. So the first one, I guess we'll just flip flop who answers each one. Okay. okay. So the first one is, did you know each other before you became roommates? So Jesse, do you want to answer this one? We get this question all the time, and I think, um, I don't know, we got it down to a pretty solid answer of yes, <laughs> but no, at the same time because we were childhood friends, we met when we were like seven-ish we both did dance um and then this one decided she wanted to do gymnastics instead so she quit and she left me and <laughs> um pretty we much <laughs> really we didn't go to the same high school or anything so we didn't talk for like i don't know like probably four, most of our years. most of our teenage years and then we had a mutual friend at our at my public high school graduation so Jessie showed I up came. to the graduation, <laughs> she came, I came, and, and the mutual friend was basically like, you guys should room together because I'm friends with both of you and you would probably be compatible again because we were really close when we were younger. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I remember thinking, yeah, we were close when we were younger, so I was hopeful that it would work out. But we were both really stubborn and we're like, I don't know, I kind of want to go with random and meet somebody new. So we waited the whole summer mm -hmm. before starting college to pick why. a roommate. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know and why I thought that was a good idea. Both of our moms were communicating and we're like, you guys need to room together. And so eventually, it was like a week after we were supposed to pick and we were. I was like, fine, text her mom. So my mom texted her. And luckily the housing lady was nice enough to let yeah. us be put together in a room. So we ended up together and here we are. So thanks, Clara. Shout out to Clara. Yeah, shout out to Clara for doing that for us. Up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so question number two is, what were your first impressions of each other? So my first impression of Jesse on, I guess we could start off when we were first texting before we came to school. <laughs> oh my god. We, it was a little bit awkward, a little bit robotic. It was really forced. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of like, what are you bringing? <laughs> like very... Compared Hello. to the way we text now. Yeah. But uh, right off the bat, I knew that we were going to be friends or at least have a lot in common because we were sending pictures back and forth and I saw that we had like the exact same color bedding, all the things we were bringing color to school. Color scheme. Color scheme aesthetic for the dorm was so similar and I was like, we go be friends. Yeah. It's a telltale sign. I mean, she likes rose gold and, you know. And pink. <laughs> So. But anyways, once we moved in, it was even more confirmed because even our moms noticed. When we were unpacking our stuff, I was like, I brought those exact shorts. And you were like, I brought that exact comforter. <laughs> and yeah, so we had like all the same stuff. And uh, from the moment we moved in, I think we were like, oh, I think we there's like potential for friendship here. Yeah, there wasn't really a moment of like... Uh, what did I get myself into? There was you never know? really an awkward moment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, a little forced, but not... Yeah. It was just because we were both trying to be nice, I think, that, I don't know, we yeah. didn't realize how... And then eventually, like, shortly after move-in day, we were like, two huh. colors came out. Yeah. And it worked. <laughs> okay, so the third question is, how long did it take to become friends, and were you friends before becoming roommates? So, like we said, we explained the story. We were friends when we were younger, mm -hmm. drifted apart just for no reason, just because I did gymnastics and Jess yeah. kept doing dance. And then we came back together through rooming together. Yeah, so in that sense, we kind of became friends like right away, but I think it helped that we like knew each other from before. So, it, like, even though it was kind of awkward at first, it. I don't know, I feel like that time period of it being like uncomfortable was like way shorter than it would have been for like other roommates. Yeah, agreed. Because so we kind of had an upper hand, but essentially we came in not really knowing each other. Right. I knew like seven year old Anna, which yeah. I mean. And we stopped hanging out when we basically became teenagers, so that's kind of like a vital, I feel like you change personalities. At I would hope you would change <laughs> I know, a little you bit. go through a couple of changes at 13. <laughs> okay, so question number four is what do you most commonly argue about? <laughs> <laughs> so we were just debating this one. Do you have an answer for that? <laughs> um, well, I don't know if it's argue. 
as much as it's Jesse, don't step on the rug with your shoes on. <laughs> but I can't help it because my closet's like on the other side of the rug, like you guys can't see, but yeah. <laughs> it's I literally have to like leap across the room and I'm not like the most coordinated, so sometimes my shoes get on the rug and you know. I, I think that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it's not what really I would an say. argument though. We really don't argue if anything it's like bickering. I mean when you live with someone for two years, clearly you're gonna have an off day. Or so I think it's a combination of we are the most indecisive people ever. So I think mm -hmm. any argument would stem from us being indecisive. <laughs> and then, and then like, why do I have to decide? Why don't you decide? You decide. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. I, I don't care. Well I don't care either. Why don't you just pick? That's essentially it. There you have it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so number five is what thing does your roommate do that most bothers you? So I think that's pretty much the same question. So we'll go with stepping on the carpet with muddy shoes. shoes. on the rug. <laughs> okay, listen, the way the room is set up is not to my advantage, so I blame the creators of the We just carpet. take pride in our dorm and we don't want the rug to get muddy. <laughs> like, literally have walked in and saw Anna, like, fluffing the rug <laughs> with her hands because she's, like, trying to keep it in pristine condition. Like I can't deny that one. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a vacuum, so like no shame, but okay, I don't know. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so question number six is what do you think of your roommate's YouTube? So that's for me. Yeah. I'm guessing. <laughs> um, I think it's cool. I mean, I'm here, so obviously I don't think it's that weird. Um, I willingly am doing this video, so I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's definitely harder than I thought it would be to sit here and talk to a camera. Yeah, it's a little uncomfortable. And I keep looking at the viewfinder and I'm really trying not to, but um, <laughs> other than that, I don't know, maybe yeah. by the next whatever tag I'll be better at it. And my YouTube's like really not built up too much yet. I honestly like only have very few subscribers, so it's not too weird yet. So smash that like button. <laughs> yeah, smash that like button. But yeah, I remember freshman year I told Jessie about it and I had plans to start the YouTube channel and then I just kind of never came around to it, but she was like, oh, that's cool. Can I be in some I of watch that? a lot of YouTube. So. Yeah, and we both love YouTube, so it really, like, I feel like it wasn't surprising for it's you. Weird. Although I will, you didn't let me know what. <laughs> yeah, you, actually, YouTube I didn't let her was. watch my videos till recently because I was too embarrassed because I don't really like my old videos. But I don't hopefully, know why. I don't hopefully, know why I'll post fine. some more and like like my content. <laughs> okay, so question number seven is who spends the longest getting ready in the morning? So I would say we pretty much take the same exact amount of time most days Yeah. Um, because we set an alarm for the same time and we go out at the same time because we get breakfast together before classes or even on the weekends almost every day. Just the way our schedules worked out. Yeah. And also so the fact that like if one of us sets an alarm, obviously the other person's going to wake up. So yeah, exactly. So it kind of just... Yeah, I mean I certain know. days I might take longer, certain days Jesse might take longer. It just depends on what we're doing. Yeah. Oh. But pretty much we take the same amount of time. Okay, so question eight is what is something you didn't notice about each other until you became roommates? Uh, Honestly, I can't really think of anything. It's well that's kinda of hard to answer because I've really besides when we were younger, I've only known you as a roommate. So yeah. it's like I feel like yeah, like honestly living with someone it's just like a constant reel of getting to know the person. Right. So every you'd think we'd live with each other we've lived with each other for two years, you'd think we'd learn everything by now, but No, there's more. Honestly, every day there's more. There's more. There's like a sequel. Um but every I guess day. <laughs> what I would say though, um maybe from like an outsider's perspective would be that Anna loves to just dance sporadically. <laughs> And she'll be just doing her homework, but this is like both of us, because like, I don't know who yeah. started this trend, I think another but... good one is we realized how similar we are. <laughs> right. In a new regard every day. <laughs> so, you know, it's not so much I'm noticing this stuff about her, but I mean, I feel like it's just like, oh, you do that too? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, you want to take like a 20 second dance break and then 20 seconds later be back doing your homework? Like nothing ever happened? Like, oh, okay. Pretty much. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Question number nine. Do you ever get tired of seeing each other? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I think even if that was true, we wouldn't tell each other, so... <laughs> no, but I really don't. Honestly, we've lived together for two years, and we actually spend morning to night with each other, so... And people are mind-boggled at the... Like, 
I don't know. Yeah, we get a lot of comments at school, honestly. People are always like, Anna and Jess, Anna and Jess, Jess how are you guys not fighting yet? <laughs> and I remember freshman year, RA even told us, was it our, our, our RA? I think so. Someone said to us, they were like, it's only a matter of time before you guys fight and like <laughs> come at each other's necks. And we were like, really? And then we <laughs> really never did, so. Hasn't happened yet. I, I mean, think obviously people have days where they like want their alone time, so one of us might be more quiet one day, but for the most part, it's a party every day in our room. It's a party. And and then when it's not so much a party, we respect that the other person, you know, whatever. I don't know. We're both just very easygoing, so I think that, I don't know. I just Agreed. Don't know. Okay, so question number 10 is how do you avoid tension while living together? I think we just answered that. Yeah, I think we pretty much answered that, but I think the key for like anybody out there, if you're not as compatible as we are as roommates, is just communication. Like communication, that's such a generic statement. But communication really is key. From the comm major. Yeah, from the comm major over here. But honestly, <laughs> if you're not compatible roommates, you could totally still get by. I mean, unless your roommate is absolutely psycho, mm -hmm. you could still get by living with each other just as long as you're communicating about what you're okay with, what you're not okay with in the room. I mean, you're sharing a space, so. Right. And yeah, with us, we get along really well and we're so similar that we things that we do don't really bother each other in the room, like dorm-wise, but I mean, as long as you communicate about it, it's the best way. You can't really sit around and, you know, get bothered by something and then not tell them and then expect it not to happen. Right. Like, you you don't gotta look... voice your concerns. Exactly. And, I don't know. Your life will just be much easier. Yeah. Unless like, your roommate actually is, like, terrible. Then yeah, I'm unless sorry. they're crazy. <laughs> There's only so much you can do, but... But for the most part, communicate, solve the problems out loud, and I think that's the key. Mm -hmm. The key to success. <laughs> Major key. Major key. Alright, so that concludes this video, guys. Unfortunately, I know I said I was going to do 20 questions, but I think because of the lighting in here, it's getting really dark out. Unexpectedly, we started filming late. Mm -hmm. I think we made an executive decision to only film 10 questions for this video. But if you guys want to see part two, Look at smash her. that like button. You want to see Jesse make a channel. Below. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys two. want to see the part two of the last 10 questions, like or comment down below. And if you guys have any other video suggestions, like I say in all my videos, let me know down below because I'd love to help you guys out and maybe do a Q&A if you guys have any questions about college or anything. And if you'd like to see Jess in more videos, definitely comment that down below too because she's always here <laughs> conveniently, so she could totally be in some Yeah, more. I live here, so... Alright, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I actually don't want to say that. <laughs> Bye!